What's up y'all, welcome back to the Hack Shack. Um, today I was planning on having Juanita drive me around while I film uh, her driving in our three old crusty vehicles, but the weather looks like crap, so we're gonna see what happens. Uh, maybe, maybe it'll work out, maybe it won't. Right now, I'm gonna go to the other garage where I keep the lawnmower and stuff and ugly, my 85 that hasn't been started since my very first video, which was like four months ago. So the truck's been sitting four months, hasn't started, uh, haven't touched it, haven't even looked at it, honestly. So we're fixing to go in there and, and uh, see if she'll fire up. Got a new light. I don't know if it's any good, but we're gonna find out together. Look, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, but this thing's growing freaking spiders. That's how long it's been sitting here. Everything coming on. Look at that. Wipe it off and uh, go for a drive if she feels like it. Okay, let's see if I can remember this. <laughs> okay. Help if I push it in more. I'm short. when I said she could drive a stick. It's been a while. <laughs> like decades. <laughs> you know you don't need first in this truck, right? Shut your mouth. So mean. Let's see if we go first to fourth again. <laughs> So hard to get used to again. <laughs> it's nothing like my milk truck. Shift. I'm going to. The milk truck brings all the boys to the yard. Damn right. <laughs>
worry, dog, we'll move. He's like, he's trying to commit suicide. He got up and moved into our way. <laughs> Jeez. Sorry if the camera's super shaky. These county roads are terrible. And the truck is on 22s. It rides pretty good, but these roads are bad. You freezing? You're freezing me out. <laughs> it's on low. And I don't know if y'all can hear any of this. This truck's loud. This old 12 valve is just noisy. <laughs> so hopefully this microphone is picking up our voices. Let's see. And not all the freaking exhaust noise. Raining. And look, we're going zero miles per hour. <laughs> Freaking speedometer cable broke. Can't keep it together. It's okay. It's getting LS and a Holly, so we'll have a speedometer someday. Get pictures. I want to get pictures of this there before they tear it down. That the last pictures we have of this there, it was in primer. Need some brakes, woman. Make me nervous. Are well, you trying to put it back in fifth? No, I'm getting ready. If I need to shift down, you definitely need to shift down. Not to third, fourth. Yeah, see how smooth that was. I don't know, one to four. <laughs> it didn't die on me, it's okay. You can't kill this. I mean, you can, but you really gotta screw up. So this, coming up here, is the, if you don't know about Dayton, this is the rice dryer or grain elevator. I don't really know what it is, but this is what we're talking about. They're starting to tear down. If you can see up in the top, they got a big hole up there. And they got some tarps on some big holes over here. So this is why we're trying to get up here and get some pictures. Because they're they're tearing this thing down and it's it's like a huge landmark for Dayton. Aired up front. That's fourth again. Shush him out. You, found, you know where fourth is. And, and oh, we, I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, you can't <laughs> leave it running in gear. We'll be sitting here doing a burnout. <laughs> All right. We're going to stop and take some pictures, and we'll see you in a minute.
So we got the uh, turbos, well, the cold side, all powder coated black, and then the powder coater and Zach talked me into this penny vein on the grill. I think it looks really cool. It almost looks like rust, but shiny. Fits in pretty well. And I have just talked Juanita into driving this thing for the first time, actually driving it. So we'll see how this goes. And yes, I trimmed my beard. I got sick of it. And now I can see exactly how fat I am. So it's time to go on a diet, I guess. Again. All right, I'm gonna get it started for her because she's scared. Crazy fuel pump. I don't know where she went, but she has to back it out of the shop. She's gonna be mad. Watch. Watch. Come on, you gotta back it out of the shop. <laughs> that wasn't the it's funny laugh. Don't move. I'll put a pillow behind you. One click. Where are you going? What gear are you trying to put it in? She knows how to drive a standard but can't drive an automatic. Now you don't even have to push that. Oh my gosh. One click back. You gotta pull the trigger. I don't know how to pull the trigger. One click. Reverse. No, I, I did away with that. Straighten the wheel. If I survive this, if the truck survives this, <laughs> I don't know how to get it on the passenger side. This is going to be really loud because we don't have glass in it right now because they're making glass for the door windows. So may or may not have sound in this part of the video. It may just be music. We'll see. All right. Reverse neutral drive. Reverse neutral drive. That's it. You're done.
that thing sweet. Remember, you gotta turn off the blinker. I want you to get on it just a little bit. Just a little bit. Well, other than the seat, what do you think? It's not bad. <laughs> Gotta get used to it. All right, now time for the milk truck. All right, what you got here? So when you drive, the wind pulls this. 
So I just made a little strap and it keeps it from flying open. Freaking genius. I married a genius. See if she can find reverse. This is also going to be loud, so it'll probably be music instead of the sound of the truck because the wind's going to be crazy. I'll watch it during editing, but I'm sure it's going to be loud. It's dirty. Yeah. That woman had a fish hook in her lip. She looked like she looked like she'd been caught. That's the main. in a shed. <laughs> no, it's a boat. It, yeah. go. it drives pretty good, but it is like driving a shed. I mean, it's it's a shed back there. We do have the backup camera, so that helps. You can see it. I don't even know if you can hear me. I might just be moving my mouth to nothing. Here. Subtitle. <laughs> you subtitle it. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't care that much. I think just just make the block. Kind of just wanted to give a ride around in this turd, like all of them. that Sorry, yeah I need to just weld that thing what stop real quick I'm gonna ask him if it's for sale for sale is that for sale? Come on. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I seen it earlier. I like that crew cab short bed, man. That's clean. That's hers. <laughs> Well, they wouldn't sell it to me. Not that I could afford it anyway, but I love it. Hammer. Well, that 
wind's blowing today. <laughs> yeah. You can feel the wind in this thing. Still one hand driving. It's a different experience in this thing. So much junk. Nope. No, nope, yep. Don't act like you know what you're doing. I'm gonna learn that poor shit is. That is screwing me up. What? The camera? As long as the door shuts. Well, we didn't die. So there's that. All right. You drove all three. What's your What's your favorite? <laughs> the milk truck. <laughs> Why is the milk truck your favorite? Because it's mine. Well, which one drives the best? They all drive good. So, that one is too fast. It's not too fast. Yes. You didn't even, you got four pounds of boost is all I saw when you got on it. You didn't even get on it. Still. Scared? A little. <laughs> Fix the seat, and I'll have to put the seat belt all the way up to here, <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe we'll try it again. All right. Well, I I didn't feel like working my butt off this weekend on a bunch of crap, um, so I figured this might be some good content. Somewhat, this thing looks stupid up here, but it works good. Hopefully, y'all aren't hearing me going. <laughs> because my nose is all messed up from the neighbors yesterday, and they're probably going to do it again today because they suck. They suck so bad. But whatever. Anyways, it's my life. Um, I'm going to do a walk around video now and uh, a weekly update, which is very small because all I did was finish the bed on the Dodge and uh, 
he came and got the bed and the tailgate and the hood uh, to take it to paint. So, but I'll, well, that's pretty much the walk around. <laughs> I, I kind of ruined that, I guess, but I guess I can just go ahead and go straight into this right now. Um, so I did that. The bed's finished. Um, I guess I can put a, no, I think I put all that in last week's video. So there's really nothing to put in there about the bed. It's gone. It's not here. Oh, wait, I want you to stay. Um, I want you to show me what you did to my street wheels to make them look better. <laughs> so I hated them because they were all black. I mean, I didn't hate them. They just didn't fit the look of the truck because we have the, the bronze center on these and then the penny vein grill and we got other bronze stuff on the truck. So I wanted to change the street wheels and not have to buy new wheels because I didn't really care for them that much. But show me what you did. No, no, use the one with the center cap because the other ones don't have the cap. So I made a template and ordered some champagne 651 outdoor adhesive vinyl and just cut it out and applied it. So. Tell me that doesn't look better. It's so better. So, thank they, you very they much. Get scratch, we just take it off and put a new piece on. Yep. Super simple. Didn't have to mask and tape and do all that crap. We just she just stuck some vinyl on them. So <coughs> hopefully they look way better on there. Which I'm gonna drive this thing around on drag radials pretty much everywhere, um, except when we do the drag and drive stuff. It's a thousand miles, so. I don't want to kill the drag radials on the drag and drive, so we'll be swapping them out when we do that. But that's not till September, so. I'll probably just keep the drag radials on here. I'm going to have a new set of drag radials before we do the, the, the Rocky Mountain Race Week thing. So thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. You made them way better. <laughs> um, and now I guess I'll just uh, show you this badass Cadillac over here. <coughs> so I had an emergency situation Friday. Well, I didn't, but um, my customer, my friend David, um, who has always been there for me uh, when, when, when stuff happens. And so I try to take care of him as much as I can, as well as my other customers. I, if, if someone has a problem, a real problem, I always try to jump through my butt to take care of them. Um, it's the right thing to do. So uh, you take care of the people that take care of you, right? Um, so this Cadillac, he traded a blazer for it. And uh, it is beautiful. Uh, we put these wheels on here. David, if you're watching this, I still hate these wheels. They look amazing on the car, but they are knockoffs. You got to beat them on with a, with, a, with a lead hammer. It's, there's silicone around the spokes. Like, it, it's terrible. They're beautiful, terrible. <laughs> anyway, car is amazing, right? Like, it's got a bunch of junk in it right now, but like, brand new seats. He had these consoles built the trunks all done out um i guess he had this made since the last time i seen this car and this is really nice um uh, but the so back to the emergency situation i guess it really wasn't an emergency but it was an emergency he wasn't stranded but he did have to call a wrecker whoever he got this car from in ohio or wherever um right before he got it they did a bunch of work on it which included airbagging it and they did a terrible job cutting out the upper cups the the or the upper spring pockets to fit the airbag in the front it looks like they used uh a, a torch but like they didn't know what the hell they were doing it was all it there was gobs of metal hanging down and uh it rubbed a hole in the bag i mean it just it's what it is when you do a crappy job you get crappy outcome right so uh it would air up just enough. It's a double bellow bag, right? So it, it, it would air up enough to pick the car up off the ground and move it because it was smashing the bottom. Let's see, where's it at? It was smashing the bottom bellow of the bag closed, right? I can't do it by hand, but this would stay closed. So this piece would air up. And as soon as it would start to bring this one up, it would blow out right here. It's got a hole in it. Um, so I got it aired up enough, got it off the wrecker and, uh, and got it in here and figured out what the problem was. And yesterday, Saturday, I uh, uh, took everything apart. Well, I took the bags out Friday night, but Saturday morning I got up, come out here, cleaned all the 
slag off, opened it up a whole bunch, readjusted the bags, replaced the bags um, with some new ones, and now we're back up and running, and he's good to go. Um, just a, it was just a couple hour deal, so it's it's uh, it didn't really get in the way of anything. I just I just try to take care of people, um, emergency jobs and stuff like that. For for my people, I I try to I try to handle as fast as I can, get the car in and out of here, especially something like this. This car does not need to sit around my shop. It scares me to death. This pretty black car. I'm a bull in a china cabinet or whatever, as they say. Tyler got some wheels for his dually from my buddy Keith, um, and they're old school cool. The truck's got kind of an old school theme, so these wheels are cool on it. They're I don't we don't know what they are. Maybe primes or something. They're 16s, and uh, they look cool on the truck. But yeah, that's uh, that's really about it for this week. It was a productive week, but not an exciting week, really, I guess. Um, oh, what else? Let's see, one more thing. Uh, after the other video on the Suburban, my buddy Zach brought me these headers, which he's already modified, but I have to cut them and flip them back and put some V-bands on them. But so instead of modifying the manifolds for the Suburban LT swap, uh, I'll, I'll be able to just modify the headers and have stainless headers on it, so that's cool. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll either weld them out or I'll tack them and take them back to Zach and let him, or have him TIG weld them back because he he offered to do that too. So that'd be that'd probably be the best solution because they'd look the best. More shout out. So Phil at Ravens Speed Shop saved my life again, I guess. This is it right here, Ravens Speed Shop. He's in Oklahoma. If you are looking, if you're anywhere near Oklahoma and looking for an LT swap, or, or I mean, any, any, he does all kind of stuff, but he's really, really uh, proficient in LT swaps. So he's the one that told me about the transfer case adapter or a spacer to make it work. Um, but he hooked, he hooked it up. That was a header. Mm, well, it needs to be modified anyway. I got the, this is the AC compressor bracket that relocates and uses the, uh, it's a mini, mini sandin compressor um, brackets for that, and then told me what else I needed to buy, uh, and then the bolt kits, and I'm dumping them everywhere, and then the power steering bracket that also deletes the uh, the vacuum pump. So I I didn't know this. He told me, which I should have known, but he told me you have to cut the front cross member on the suburban. Uh, and modify it to get the motor to sit low enough. So I've got to pull all this crap back out. Um, pull it all back out, chop the cross member, put it all back in, and then figure out a modification for the cross member that I'd like. And so that uh, that will get me power steering, a better AC compressor in a better location, and get the motor fit back in. So sometime coming up, I'm going to do that. Right now, the shop is too crammed. I got to move a bunch of crap and, and I'm not going to mess with that today. Uh, Victor's on his way. We're going to, we're going to do a few things to his car today. And, and, uh, that'll be on next week's update video because I don't, after this, I don't want to do any more video. And today I just, I want to get this in there and get it all uploaded and then make a cool video, hopefully, uh, of, uh, wanting to drive in all of our junk. She's a, uh, she's really a badass wife. Like, I couldn't ask for better. It's amazing that she's into this stuff and she's willing to drive all this crap that I create. Um, and it's 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 all safe. I, I guess what the point of this video was that like everything I do, all this stuff, it looks crazy, but it's safe enough for for my wife to drive, you know, without being without falling apart or getting wild or driving crazy. It's just I try to make all this stuff get in and drive it. So, but. Anyways, uh, whew. I hope y'all enjoy this video and I hope it gets a little more traction than the last one. I really thought the burnout and the, the making a test hit in the Diamond T would really get some more views, but man, YouTube, help me out here. Like, and if I share it on freaking Facebook, Facebook blocks the link or whatever, doesn't show anybody. So if you're watching this, thank you. If you're subscribed, thank you. If you're not, please do. Anyways, uh, oh, I got some new shirt designs. So uh, Josh Rowan at Rowan Concepts 
and my wife got together and surprised me for my birthday. A new design on a shirt. It's the Diamond T doing like a four wheel burnout, but it's all, it's hand drawn. So, all right. I don't know how much of that y'all saw. The freaking GoPro went dead. Uh, imagine that, right? Um, anyways, so new shirt, uh, picture here. Juanita is handling all of the shirts and the hats. So if you go to her Facebook page, Harvey's Craft, son of a, I can't speak today. Harvey's Craft Shack on Facebook or Instagram. I'm going to put a link to the Facebook page. Uh, just go there and you can message her uh, with whatever shirt or hat or, or, or anything you want. She can also make your logo uh, if you have one, if you want something cool on a hat or a shirt, she can do it all. Um, she's really awesome at this stuff, and uh, it it helps us. It's it's another uh, it's another little bit of income that we've just started this year. Uh, hopefully, it it works out for her and and makes us a little little more uh, income. But uh, I appreciate y'all very much, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video and and. Uh, you know, come back and watch some more next week, every Sunday. Later.